Hello guys and welcome back to the longest journey Dreamfall. We left out with us talking to the Guardian and we found out that we are not needed here. Or something of that sort. So we're gonna leave, I guess. I don't really remember 100% what he- Yeah, that, um... Uh, it concerns dreams and not the balance and that- Then it does not concern him, okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Can I jump off? I guess we're getting the fuck off then. So pretty this place, Jesus. I don't know what's gonna happen now, like... What is April gonna do? Come on, Crow. Let's go. So, did you find what you were looking for? No. I did. You did? Good. What the I fuck? love happy endings. Ha! Ah, another adventure complete. Well played, partner. Time to go back and gorge ourselves on roast gipa and ice ale. <laughs> Are we like legitimately you done? Ice ale? I thought you didn't like alcohol. I've acquired a taste for it, and I like being drunk and not having to take responsibility for my actions. That's always a plus. Every teenager ever. What if we would have just closed? Oh, that would be fucked up. We're gonna see like some weird truth like Galwan or whatever the fuck his name is. Uh oh. What up, Guardian? Anything legit nothing? What the fuck? Okay, shit, I'll take it. We're gonna go over to yeah, we're, yeah, shit. Don't worry about the drug. It won't harm you. It's a mild sedative and hallucinogenic. It'll help you sleep and dream. I'm not a big fan of drugs. Me neither. But for the time being, the dreamer requires it. She said we're it working. so angrily. I mean, we were working on it. But then they just said, fuck it. This won't hurt at all. Stabs her with a knife. That it? He just like took a fucking Q-tip and just smeared it on her neck or I'll something. I'll get the dreamer. She so looks sleepy. Sleepy. Real nigga. I know. You'll be fast asleep in less than a minute. She's gonna disappear because we know. Yeah, Zoe. Don't leave, leave me. I won't. I'll be right here when you come back. What did you say? She looks dead. She's what if she disappears? Oh shit. Oh, this fucking dream world. My table, Ryan. Save her. My this goodness. Place. Again. Again. So now I'll find a plan and say. It's been a long fucking time, bruh. Wait alone. Let's go over to this house. What is this place? Like, is there another world in Stark and Arcadia? Like a pocket universe or something? Hello, the ring. Holy shit. You! I found her. I found April Ryan, but. You must save her! Like, fucking. I don't know. Who are you? What are you? You must save her, Zoe. Please. But I don't know what to do. She's fine. She doesn't need to be saved. Yeah. Find April Ryan. Save her. Jump, woman. Animations reused. Never happened before. So we just get sent to fucking uh, Markeria now. Convergence. Who the fuck is this? I'm so confused about this guy. This is the only character in this fuck I do not know 100% has a meaning. Like, what are you doing? He's more of a, like, political character because he's like, oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. How do you block again? Okay, I got it. Oh, shit. Nigga, fuck off. Fucking want somebody's dick away? Yeah, I'll, that's what I... Thought. This war is 
just getting started. Holy shit, camera plus. Oh shit. Eh. Oh my god, you're retarded. Please, Mr. Black Guy. Come on. Oh, fuck you. Yes, eat my dick. I'll fight with honor. Now look at my skirt. Oh, fuck you. Man, you don't want none of this. You're far from your holy city, Azadi. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Eat some of my swordly skills. Come on. Come on. can't help. Dude, I'm getting good at this fight and shit. Like I have a swords or skills or justice or oh, whatever. <laughs> Holy shit, he used his feet. Let's fucking uh, do this until he puts up his defense. Suck it! Twins? Did I just murder twins? Holy shit. Demon, please. please? No. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, please, I'm more worried. Questions, and I might spare your life. Might. I'll tell you anything you want. Just don't hurt me. He's so cute. But he, more emotion, please. Voice acting is very important. Why are you so cute? Uh, question is how, uh, Scor Scorpion. We're about to rebel. Re rebels. <sighs> now, I do not remember shit about the Scorpion. Uh, there was like some traitor shit, or I think. Uh, I'm gonna question. I want both. to know about the one they call the Scorpion. Yeah, the Scorpion. Seems... Uh, that's just a legend. Dead end. A shit. legend that has murdered hundreds of my people. Hey, shit. hey, look! I don't know anything. I haven't hurt nobody. I'm just repeating w what I've been told. What have you been told, Sire? To I really do. But if you want to find this Scorpion of yours, you'll need to ask someone else. Okay? Oh, tell me everything you know about the rebels. Thank you. I'm just an honest businessman. I don't know anything about... Your life is hanging by a very thin thread. All right, all right. So I've had some dealings with certain people, but it's just business. Herbs, roots, potions, potions. medicines. That's all. No weapons. Do you know how to get in touch with these customers of yours? If I tell you, they'll have me killed for sure. These are not the kind of people you mess around with. Neither am I. If you refuse to cooperate, I'll string you up and put a knife to your belly until either you spill your guts or your guts spill to the ground. Look, look I have no quarrel with you or your people. Fucking I'll tell demon. you anything Holy shit. you want. Anything at all. <sighs> Apostle, there's a message for you. Oh, fuck off. They've caught a rebel witch. She was using magic and she resisted arrest. They've got her locked up in Friar's Keep. Where is that? On the east side of the city. I can escort you, Apostle. No, I will find it. I should go immediately. <laughs> Maybe this witch has had dealings with the Scorpion. Fucking... Take care of this one, soldier. Jesus. <laughs> he has valuable information that he's very generously agreed to share with us. Mm. Bring him to the tower and wait for me. Sir! This, I don't want to play this guy anymore because he's so... Can I move? Thank you. Uh, he's like such a fuck it, dude, brah. He's so mean. It sounds so childish. He's unfair and unjustified. It sounds more like an adult. <gasps> Can I talk to Rupert? Hey, man. Hey, man, I want to buy a book. Get your maritime accessories. Oh, my insignificant probably Watch it, boy. I was where he. What the? F I okay. Shit, dude. I, I can't believe you're still being. That's held up. it. The supplies should have left the city two days ago, and you with them. Without proper authorization, there is no way for our vessel to leave harbor. If we do anything to awake suspicion. I know, Chuan. It's just frustrating. The plan was for you to be halfway up the river already. We leave this afternoon. Everything is in order now. The soldiers will not delay us any further. 
Sweet. I hope you're right. Everyone's waiting for the medicines and the... <sighs> April! That girl, Zoe, I saw her. She's been taken by the Azadi. Oh, fuck, she's the witch? What? Where? It's that place you told me about. Friar's Keep. Isn't that where the Azadi torture rebels? Why did they bring her there? Do you think she's going to tell on us? I don't think so. What would she tell them? She doesn't know anything about us. We need to help her. She has no one else. I know, oh. I know. You don't have to tell me. You two get ready to leave. You can't delay the boat any longer. What? Oh, you must be joking. Holy shit, what are you can going you please to let us go on a have mission a again? longer pause? We already have a mission, Bryn. A very important one. If you don't bring the supplies back to the swamp, people will die. I'll see you at home, guys. Safe journey. And guard and those supplies well. <sighs> okay. Why is she being like this? She has powers. Because she has much on her mind. Yeah, point. No, but she's always had a lot on her mind. And she hasn't been this way before. There's something going on that she's not telling us. I'm sure of it. Uh, hmm. oh yeah. It is no business of ours. And she is right. We already have a mission. Come. We need to go to the harbor. Dude, I want to go with my courage. It seems just so cool. We must not delay the boat any further. Like, you could just magic and shit. It's easy to get a job. I fucking vaginas. Mm, is she <clears throat> naked? Mm. One moment. Oh, fuck. I am here to... Mm, please, a moment. Do I have to get you a pizza to get the fuck in here? <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> Pardon me, the... Uh... Dust here isn't any good for my lungs. You're yes. not good for my face. May I, help you? I represent the tower. I am told you have a prisoner. But we don't use that word here. They are our guests until your people come to uh, pick them up. I wish to speak with this prisoner. Hmm, so I see. Uh, am I to understand that you have all the paperwork in order? The emissary insists that I should speak with your prisoner. Now. Holy mm. shit. Well, I, I will never understand this blatant disregard of a proper bureaucratic process, but uh, as you wish. Oh my god. god. It'll be. It's like fucking. Jesus. <laughs> mm. She used magic. Fucking Zoe, you idiot. Mm. Mm. There she is, all ready to be mm. interviewed. I shall be alone with her. You're gonna fuck. I beg your pardon. No, no. That's not how things are done here. Local laws apply, and they are abundantly clear. During interrogations, an independent body must be present to ensure the legality of said process. And I am that independent body. The tower shall hear of this. Well, I'm sure it will. I will complain to your supervisor. Who? The tower. The supreme authority of the Azadi Empire in the North. Need. I am Apostle Alvani, personal envoy of the Six. Far I don't off. know what any of that is. I don't know anything. I haven't done anything. She keeps saying that. She's a bit whiny, this one. Do not interrupt, please. Hmm. You stand oh. accused of being a spy. <laughs> you will be transported to Sadir, our capital, at our earliest convenience where you will be tried as a spy. Say. I'm not a spy. Then what are you? A witch? You were spotted practicing magic. I wasn't practicing anything. I just just landed in a very inconvenient spot. Three soldiers saw you materialize out of thin air in the middle of the marketplace. If you're not a witch, then how did you do that? Someone else sent me here to our... I mean, to Markyria. Markyria. I'm from the... the south. south. I'm not a spy, and I'm not a witch. I see. Make up a story, woman. A witch teleport me in over here. You. I will speak with the warden, and maybe he will let you go. What the that fuck? Like this guy, he's, he's like, going to leave me. what? This is not my jurisdiction. I'm sorry. He's like, he got like, he's like cold hearted. And like, oh, you have the information. I'm going to fucking it, be, stab uh, you in your fucking dick. And she is like, oh, shit, I'm sorry. I didn't do this. She's like, I was like, oh, fuck off. Well, fuck does your shit, man. Make a difference. Guilty or not, they all go across the sea to be mm, <clears throat> tried, do they not? I think she should be released. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 that's quite, quite impossible. She's been left in my care, and in my care she shall remain, until mm. she's sent off to uh, Sadia. These are the laws. 
And uh -huh. here in Friars Keep, we follow the laws to the letter. I'm afraid I can't release her simply because you think she's uh, innocent. I shall bring this matter to the tower's attention. Jesus Christ, you and your and tower. So My day. God. My best to the tower and your <clears throat> mistress. Jesus. Can I leave this place? Because I don't want to be here anymore. So fucking stupid. This is so fucking stupid. Am I going to meet April on her way up here? It's like, it's so many character changes right now. Like, I see... No, I don't not see his spot in any of this. Uh, it pretty much represents like has been, is, and was. Pardon me, mistress. Friendly, unfriendly. I'll be friendly. I don't have for this. Uh, why are you talking to me, friendly? Yeah. Yes. My apologies, mistress. I'm not familiar with this city, and I seek a place to get a hot meal nearby. Ooh. Oh, um, well, there's a couple of really good taverns inside Old Town. I mean, the ghetto. There's this place up on Burrow Crook called the Riverwood Tavern that serves the best roast of Gipa in town. It's worth checking out. And if you head further up that way, and you're in the mood for a good ale, the journey met... Actually, no. Forget that. It's closed. I appreciate your help. Thank you, sire. Pardon, mistress. Do... Do I know you from somewhere? You are familiar to me. I don't think so. Who are you? Character changes. The truth. I'm Kian Alvani. I'm an Azadi apostle. I'm on April's side all the, the way. Why are you telling me this? I, honestly, mistress, I'm not certain. It seemed the right thing to do. Perhaps I simply wanted to speak with someone who is not Azadi to find out what you truly think of my people. What I think of your people? I find you, Azadi, arrogant and full of yourselves. You believe you have a right to impose your politics and religion on others. Mm. And you actually have the audacity to believe that we should be grateful for that. Your honesty is refreshing, mistress. Though so I do not agree with your views. It's not a question of agreeing or disagreeing. It's a question of facts. You invaded our lands, you imposed yourselves on us. We delivered you from a brutal and deadly enemy. We liberated your city. We fed your hungry and housed your homeless. We made your land safe again. Without us, you would not be here. Without us, your people would be scattered, broken, dead. Your cities would be in ruins and your temples burned. Did I ground. fuck up? We have only done what we know to be right. Oh. We wish only for you to walk oh. in the light of our goddess, to hear her God word, has. to know her love. Tell me, mistress, how have we wronged you? How have we imposed on you with our charity and goodwill? Okay, charity let's see and goodwill? Is that what they call a military occupation these days? Mm. Don't mistake gratitude for love, Azadi. A lot of people were grateful that you liberated Mercuria from the tyrant hordes. Others are grateful for what you brought with you, technology. Airships, exotic goods, increased trade. And your soldiers, they've made the Northlands safe against our enemies. And Mercury's streets secure to walk at night, as long as you're human, of course. I'm embarrassed to say there are even those who are happy you've rounded up all the non-humans and stuck them in a ghetto. So sure there are those who are grateful and those who have gained a lot from your presence here. As for the silent majority... Well, who wants to rock the boat when there's food on the table, a roof over your head, and a job to pay the bills? But ask those who are no longer allowed to speak their minds, to walk the streets, or to practice their religion. What do you think they'll say? Ask a sentinel minstrel, if you can find one, what they felt when you leveled their holiest shrine to the ground to make room for your tower. Ask those who've had their homes raided and destroyed because they weren't born human, because they practiced magic, or because they didn't worship your goddess. Ask the Dolmari or the Zid about being forced to relocate and live inside the walls of the ghetto while they await an uncertain fate. Do you think they will sing your praises? Do you think they've bought into the whole charity and goodwill song and so dance? So good. This episode's so you long. Fuck. You came here under the pretense of liberating us. 
but instead you've imprisoned us. You've taken our sovereignty and you've taken our faith. You're even trying to take our individuality away. You want to make us into you. It won't work. In the end, people won't stand for it. If you hadn't come to our lands, we might still be homeless, hunted, hungry, but we'd be free. Freedom and is freedom, important. Azari. Freedom is worth a lot more than you will ever know. Ooh. You have strong feelings regarding this matter. Strong feelings? I... I shouldn't be talking to you. I have to go. Wait. I still feel that I know you from somewhere. That's impossible. We're from very different worlds in more ways than you can possibly imagine. Maybe I could learn about your world and you about mine. Oof, he's from Stark. What? But you speak with such passion and conviction. It would be wrong of me to simply dismiss you. Perhaps you could show me this ghetto from your perspective and explain to me how your people have suffered under our rule. You don't understand. It's impossible. And it's too late. We can't come to an understanding. We're enemies. Whoa. How can we be enemies when we have just met? Damn. I, I really have to go. Good luck My finding a place fuck. to eat. You really should try the Riverwood Tavern in Old Town. Well, he just left. He was out of there, you know what I'm saying? Well, either way, that was intense. I love this. Holy shit, I want to keep playing. Damn it. Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I fucking loved it. It was... Thing, puzzles are starting to fall to the piece. I, the pieces are starting to fall in place. That's, yes. Oh, God. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys like it if you did. Uh, comment what you think about it below. And I hope... Subscribe for more of my videos. And I hope you guys have a cookie good day. Bye bye. Fucking shit. I'm not trying to be disappointed. <laughs>